Hey everybody, I'm Chad from Nitro Trailers, and I wanna show you guys one of our newest builds is this eight and a half by 26 XPS edition trailer. So let's take a look. This trailer is fully customized with almost every option that we make that we put in a snowmobile trailer. Some of the most common things that we do is extra height, which with this particular model, we went nine, in, nine inches extra height. We added the rear canopy with the four inch round lights with the black bezels. Gives it a really good look at night, shining down on your ramps. Backup lights standard in your tail lights on XPS models. We want the blackout package, so all blackout trims, blackout wheels, blackout finishes on the exterior. We also went with a black quad ply flooring, which is um, something we've talked about in the past. It's very popular, gives it a really cool look. It's, uh, it's, it's called a non-skid flooring. Um, we do put ski guys and track mats on top of it to try to help protect it. And um, We also have added a elevated spare tire mount with our aluminum spare tire. Um, flip the lights on in here. 030 black aluminum ceiling with our new one by 72 inch uh, LED strip lights. They're a real sleek, slim looking light that hardly sticks down at all off the ceiling. Um, we went with 030 white aluminum walls. This trail is fully insulated, wall ceiling. We went with a uh, 24 inch black aluminum uh, wall liner panel on the bottom with our black extruded kick plate. Um, custom made ratchet strap holder with a black backer, all trimmed out really nice. Uh, flip down bench sheet, two 24 by 36 radius sliding windows for natural light. Um, this is a four foot helmet cabinet or, you know, just a cabinet for whatever. Um, I like to keep my oil and some extra stuff in here. Um, and below it, I have our 10 hook um, jacket or bib hanger. So if you have, you know, a bunch of people with you, you can, they can sit on this bench and use their hooks and whatnot. Um, this particular model, we deleted the front drive out ramp in the V nose and we added the front ramp on the side of the trailer, as you see. And it's got like 16 inches of angle to help getting your machines in and out. If you, if you choose to, uh, load in the front or unload off the front, whatever you choose to do. I'm a, I personally drive in and back out. Um, but it is handy to have in case you do need to use it. It does work. Um, you still got to grab the ski a little bit and, and help it around the corner, but um, it does give you that ability to get in and out. Um, we also added a front partition wall in this trailer, which as you can see, it's, it's at an angle across the front of the nose. So it doesn't go square across. It actually comes back about three feet on this wall and it meets at the point on that wall over there. So let's, uh, let's come on in and take a closer look. So this is a 38 by 78 opening and we put these clear plastic strips out on this uh, door opening to help keep the smoke out and the heat in. Um, like I said, this has got the heat package in it. We do have heat ducted to the box um, through these vents right here. Um, it heats up very nicely. Um, but obviously the majority of the heat you'd like to have while you're changing. So uh, let's come in this change room and take a look. So in this little room, um, you know, it's a pretty good air for, for approximately two people. Um, we have our heater buried under here, it all closed in really nice and heat ducted out to this custom vent that we have. Um, this bench stays folded down the entire time. So you're changing, you put your boots on whatnot, getting dressed, it's easy to do. Um, another 10 hook uh, clothes rod hanger here, as well as you know your glove hanger if you need to hang something from the ceiling. Um, 12 volt battery. Uh, with our quick 110 outlet with a battery tender hook to it. And we also added a, another outlet over here with USB. So if anybody that needs something, you know, plug your cell phone in and charge it. Um, this only does work when you're plugged into either a generator or, or your 
for your house, but it's a, uh, it's a good spot to charge. Like if you have communicators or any electronics that you need to charge while you're home, you can plug the trailer into an extension cord and these outlets will work. So, um, super cool room in here. We added an exterior window for natural light to the outside, as well as a, another 24 by 36 to add more light to the box. Um, you know, this has got a screen in it in the event that you, it gets too hot in here, help radiate heat out into the box area. So. That's pretty much it for the inside and we'll take a walk around the outside and show you a few more things. So taking a look at the outside, we went with our two 38 by 78 uh, side access doors. And the reason for two is, is sometimes if you're fueling up by yourselves, instead of having the traditional fuel door in the back, it makes it easy for one person to just open the door, walk in and fuel, fuel up the two rear sleds. I also went with three uh, seam lights across the top so this radiates a ton of light down on this side of the trailer in, in the night. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick look. It's not the darkest in here, but um, they're super bright at night. Let's uh, walk to the front of this. So we have our propane tank mounted right here to the tongue. We did a little bit of an extension on the tongue for this model. Um, drive out ramp delete, and this is our side angled ramp that we had also added two scene lights above it in the event you're using this at night, um, just to shine a bunch of light down onto it. Um, both ramp doors had keyed locking halves, um, so all the keys on this are all the same as each other, as, as well as the side doors. Um, spread axle. Blackout package, like I mentioned, we went with the additional mark lights across the top rail, as well as a set of midship uh, turn signals. Grip glides on both sets of ramps. We went with black uh, outlet and switch covers with stainless steel cover plates. And one of the last things we did is um, we added, which we had the ability to do if you needed it, we added a, this is a GMC backup camera. Um, I feel it's a must. It's, it's like a backup camera for, camera for your truck. It just, they work super good. And I think once you have it, you wouldn't go without it. So that's something you're looking to purchase. We can, you get it to your dealer and we'll be able to run that cable for you and, and mount it there. Um, other than that, yeah, that's a quick wrap on our new XPS eight and a half by 26 build.